Baltimore, a team that's about to be the number one seed in the AFC. They're pounding Miami right now. Well, they took them to the wire, and they're going to need some of that on this third down with Wink Martindale coming after them. Pressure coming from different spots all day long. Third and seven. Stafford in trouble, and pressure gets him again. Okereke didn't have a sack before today. He gets to Stafford for the second time today. Time out. New York. Their third and final of the half. Well, you see, <laughs> they think the pressure's coming from up top because you're going to see the line move all to their left and the pressure really hits on the opposite side. This is what we talked about. Give the illusion of pressure and then it's Okereke all the way home. I mean, he's been hit by Kyron Williams so many times in this game and he finally runs free. He has all that space. He almost, he almost didn't know what to do. <laughs> Stafford tried to get him in the popcorn machine. Shout out Chick Hearn and gives him the pump fake. Tries to get him off his feet, but he ends up making the play. What a stunt and what a show and go by Fink Martindale again. Orszewski from the six-yard line. Has a little bit of room in front of him. Out to the 20 and going to be breaking tackles. He's still on his feet. Orszewski looked like he was going down and he may take it all the way. Orszewski to the house. No flags. Four yards. Oh, and just <laughs> he just refused to go down, and that was some poor tackling. But you just brought up Baltimore, and look at how many Rams defenders are around him when his feet stop right there. Everybody's right next to him, but they're not in their lanes anymore, and everybody's standing flat-footed. And there goes Oshesky. I mean, you just mentioned the Baltimore game. They had the walk-off punt return. They took the best team in the AFC down to the wire, and that's how they lost. Well, this is how this game got tied up, potentially. And we've got a flag down before the extra point. Now, they might go for two. Here comes Tyrod. Watch this. If that's a, Yeah, that's on the defense. Tyrod Taylor's coming out, and the Giants may try to grab the lead here. Encroachment. Defense, number 92. The offense will let you go from the two point four, two point try from the one yard line. All right, so Jonah Williams offsides, and on comes the offense again to go for two. I like that call to go for two, and they ball not shy about doing that. He did it in his very first game at Tennessee. Remember that yep. on fourth down? Going for two. It was what cemented him last year in Giants fans' exactly hearts right. early. Exactly right. Aggressive is... play call to go for a win on the road. This at home, obviously. But at this point in the season, I mean, no playoffs on the line. You just let your guys go play. Use the momentum. It's Taylor to throw. Barkley's Got open. Him. And oh. he missed him. Barkley was wide open. It was going to be a walk-in two, and Taylor can't believe it. I think Tyrod Taylor got caught in between, taking off and running it himself, and then he felt Barkley pop open. But Barkley just switches sides on a motion, then leaks out underneath. Then he, it looks like Tyrod wants to run it, then he kind of short arms it, has the back end of the football, and you see Barkley go left, and then he's going to leak out to the right, and the indecision by Tyrod Taylor led to the air and throw behind Barkley and the Rams get bailed out oh, got away with the hold on the edge okay. oh my goodness oh and Tyrod feels it he knows the epitome of the Giants season frustration missed opportunities down one with 3.27 to go. Well, listen, he's going to have to move on from that, and he's going to need another drive here at some point. But dare I say, are they going to kick a field goal to try to win this Boy. thing? Oh, dear.
Well, this is a wild one with 3.27 to go in the fourth. Uh, Carissa Thompson, what's happening in South Philly? Another wild one. Back and forth game all day long. Cardinals down by three. 36 seconds left. James Conner fights his way into the end zone. Arizona with a huge upset. Final score, 35-31. Whoa, Jonathan Gannon goes back to Philadelphia, and Gannon surprises oh, his old boss. Unbelievable. You knew he'd have a great plan for that one. Rams, meanwhile. Whoa, Tyron Williams head over heels. Oh, a one-yard gain. Are you kidding me, Dexter Lawrence? Now, remember, the Giants used all their timeouts on the last Rams possession to get the football back with time, so there are no timeouts remaining for New York. Oh, my gosh. Dexter Lawrence all over that. He lines up over the center, makes it all the way out to the BRC gap for that run. <laughs> he gets his big paw on him. He ain't going anywhere. That guy grabs a hold of you. Williams again, stymied again. Nowhere to go, and the Rams don't have to snap it oh. again before the two-minute warning. And who was it? Dexter Lawrence, of course, refusing to get moved. But Ashawn Robinson, we said he's got to show up against his old ball club. Thanks for the Super Bowl ring, but I'm trying to ruin your season. We ain't going to the playoffs, but we don't want you to either. Look at him. Fired up after the play, big 91 means a lot to these guys when you face your former team. Rams, probably not going to run one. Rams don't have to snap it. They shouldn't. He's just going to try and get him to jump. And that's the two-minute warning. This is a two-minute warning. If the Rams can somehow get a first down here, this game is over. No timeout for the Giants left. Third and nine. Stafford. Pressure up the middle and he's underneath Isaiah Simmons. He was untouched into the backfield for his first sack of the year. Look at Stafford. He's looking this way, expecting pressure this way, and it ends up being Isaiah Simmons this way, and they... Oh, wow. Look at the right tackle. Havenstein got confused. Both Thibodeau and McKinney pop out, and there goes Isaiah Simmons. Oh, just so much confusion up front in protection. That's what happens. We talked about it all game, Kevin. What a huge stop for this Giants defense on third and one again. Oshesky from the 43. Oshesky into Rams territory and out of bounds. A flag down behind the play. So Oshesky, who the last time he touched the ball, had a New York record 94-yard punt return, removing Amani Toomer from the record books from 1996. Nice nugget. But now... During the return, holding, return team number 30. 10-yard penalty, first down. Darnay Holmes with the hold. It'll back the Giants up with 108 to play in the fourth, trailing by just one point. And we welcome those of you who have been watching Tampa Bay and New Orleans alongside Mark Sanchez with Laura Oakman on the field. I'm Kevin Kugler. Here a one-point game, 108 remaining. No timeouts for the Giants. And a day that's been filled with kicking woes may come down to a kick as it's dropped by Barkley. Taylor had pressure right in his face from Byron Young. Got rid of it to Barkley, and he couldn't pull it in. Oh, Barkley might have hit his head on the goalpost after this. You get him in space. We're one and one with the safety. I mean, that's what you want. And they're just getting pressure on both of these quarterbacks. Neither of them can sit on their back foot, reset up in the pocket, get their hips and momentum into these throws, and that's what's leading to some of these drops. Taylor pressured again. Floats out on the run. He's got room oh. to run. Tyron Taylor in open space. Slides across the 35. No timeouts, but plenty of time for New York. Well, that's an easy way to eliminate any issues with throwing and catching the football. Snap it to the quarterback and let him run.
They'll spike it with 42 seconds to play in the game. Well, he had an excellent scramble earlier in the game, but once this pocket collapses inside to his right, he knows he's got vision outside. He peaked Wandale Robinson quickly and then just took off in his vapor trail and got down without getting a big hit. Well done by Tyrod Taylor. Taking the game and the football in his own hands and making it work for his squad. He made a 52-yarder last week. That's the line you see on your screen for Mason Crosby. And Barkley swallowed up in the backfield. No timeouts for the Giants. They got to go. They got third down. I think Nick Gray just called a timeout. And the Rams use a timeout. Timeout. Los Angeles, their first and a half. So Los Angeles timeout. uses the timeout what? before third and 12. The only reason I could think you'd use a timeout here is to try to preserve time in case you've got to try to rally field after a field goal. goal. Rally after. 26-25. We've seen three missed extra points today, two by the Rams, one by the Giants, plus a failed two-point conversion by the Giants. A one-point game in New York. And so, essentially, they're bringing it, boiling it down to this one play. That's why the Rams burn that timeout. To stop them here, they know they're going to kick a field goal and get the ball back. Here comes pressure. Taylor throws incomplete. And that'll stop the clock with 35 seconds to go. And that'll bring on Mason Crosby. The long time Packer. 44 for 79 in his career from 50 plus. He hit from 52 last week in his Giants debut. The ball just came out awkwardly from Tyrod Taylor. Kind of slipped out of his hand, but it's all on Crosby. 54 yard try for the lead. His career long is 58. Good snap. Good hold. Crosby's kick is no good. And the Rams are going to survive oh, the trip to East Rutherford. Look at this kick. I mean, the wind just grabbed this thing. Almost like when it crosses the goal line, this thing just takes a sharp left turn. Look at that. Oh, couldn't hold on. <laughs> what a way to survive. My goodness. Talk about finishing out games. That's not what we meant, and that's not what Sean McVay was trying to convey to his team. But the Rams put themselves one Seattle loss away from the postseason or a win next week against San Francisco who clinched the top seed in the, a in the NFC today. The Rams win it 26-25 the final in East Rutherford.